And finally, the MTV Video Music Awards. Last night, the highs and lows of flash, shock, and spectacle. And of course, the big moment when the night belonged to one woman. ABC's Nick Watt with the annual awards all his own. Sure, Beyonce stole the show with a 16-minute marathon medley. Welcome to my world. But my big winners of the night, for most ambitious costume change schedule, Nicki Minaj, one, two, three, four, with the inevitable wardrobe malfunction. But A for effort, classiest moment, the traditionally trashy Miley Cyrus sending a young homeless man called Jesse to collect her award. I am accepting this award on behalf of the 1.6 million runaways and homeless youth. An intentional homage to Marlon Brando sending a Native American woman to collect his Oscar in 73. I'm representing Marlon Brando this evening. Cyrus bought Jesse a suit, a hotel room, and took him for a burger after the show, and in just 24 hours has raised over $200,000 for a homeless charity. Most class less moment, Kardashians engrossed in their phones during the Michael Brown tribute. Bronze medal for dancing while seated, Lord, silver, Taylor Swift, gold, JLo, who also wins best dressed. Worst dressed, Katy Perry and Riff Raff, an apparent denim on denim on denim tribute to Britney and Justin's look way back in 2001. Worst audience reaction, Rita Ora watching Nicki Minaj, a face that speaks a thousand words, most of them unrepeatable. I've been drinking, I've been drinking. Yes, Beyonce was great, but upstaged by her pint-sized protege, little Blue Ivy mimicking her mama from Daddy's lap. And a kiss for Daddy, scotching those rumours with one pucker that they were about to split. Nick Watt, ABC News, Los Angeles.